the unsolved messages piled up. Elizabeth suspected that the codes were being generated by a highly complex machine called the Enigma, used by the German intelligence services. There were several models of the Enigma. The British were using a newly invented decoding device to crack into the version used by the German military. The machine Elizabeth was facing was slightly less intricate, but not by much. Her tools were still only pencil and paper. Day after day, she waded through the messages. After two months, she spotted a chink in the Enigma's armor. She intercepted a cache of 28 messages, all sent in the same key, a careless mistake made by the spies. The breakthrough enabled her to make inroads into the machine's system. She lined up the messages one below the other in a technique called solving in depth. When you solve in depth and you put papers next to each other or one on top of the other and you're looking at what is the first letter in each of these messages, what is the second letter in each of these messages, once you have the knowledge that you're dealing with the same key every day, then you can actually start breaking down words and understanding what letters are turning into others. I think that Elizabeth would be the first to say that you are always looking for the mistake that the other side is making. You find a little doorway that's been left open just a smidge, and that's where you attack, and that's where you go in. Finally, she was able to follow Sargo's activities again. The decrypted messages laid bare ominous new developments in South America. There is a coup in Argentina, a fascist coup, in the summer of 1943. At the end of that, Sargo is really on the inside. In Bolivia, again, he is working with people who want to turn the government toward the Nazis. And in December of 1943, lo and behold, there is a fascist coup in Bolivia. And this is scary stuff for the United States. The fear is that the Germans will start a front in South America. This could be a dramatic game changer that could make it very difficult for us to fight the war overseas because we'd be worried about fighting the war at home. From her tiny office in Washington, Elizabeth shadowed Sargo's every move. Any which way they turned, his spies were outflanked. In the end, Elizabeth is able to give information to the Allies, which allows them to break up the spy ring and do it in such a way that the Germans have no idea that the spy ring was broken up because their codes had been broken. 